This is Bobble from the Police 911. We're at 155th and Gleason, and they got a structure fire going on. <laughs> Hey, lights! What? I was yelling to do this lights. <laughs> so we got aggression fire out here. This is actually in the city of Portland. How you doing, sir? All right, how you doing? So they're throwing the stuff out of the window. Is this your house? Is it, do you live here? We've been close by, know them. Uh, you know if they got out safely? Oh, really? So no one was living at the house at the time. No, we're uh, cop watchers, and we got we heard that there was a fire over here, so we came over here. The videotape. We usually do cops, but we'll do fires and stuff like that. We listen to the scanner, so every time we go out, we videotape something. Yeah. 
they always put a lot of resources in and then subtract as they as they don't need them Sure. Uh, you ever go on YouTube? Yeah. Yes. You got a smartphone on you? Yeah. What do you want me to put in? Look up Robert West. No capitals. Probably could. On my YouTube channel? I looked at it. It's kind of like cop watchers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then that's and that's uh, Chris Ponte mm -hmm. with Oregon Cop Watch. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's, that's your cop. Yeah. So do you turn in things that you wrong or? We do that all the time. If uh, like for instance, say an officer messed with you, uh, we get we help you with a IPR form, help you fill it out, tell you how to turn it in, and stuff like that. What if you got in a car wreck and you didn't believe the person at the scene was the same person they gave you a Ford and driver's license for? What would you do then? If I didn't believe it was the same person? Well, first of all, I'd ask for the license and registration and proof of insurance, right? And more than likely, they're not going to lie on all three. Um, what I always do is I always videotape the driver's license. So I have that. Um, but that's basically what I would do. So if you have the driver's license and the picture, they don't look the same? What do you do after that? Then I'd call the police. Huh? No, I don't. Who's taking a lot of pictures? Yeah. Well, I can fully understand why. Look at his sweater. Hello.
now. Actually, his brother could get in a lot of trouble for doing that. I, I'm stunned by what you told me. Yeah. You, did you hear me? I, yeah. I, yeah. I'm always curious about this thing. Yeah. There's a fire inspector right there, it looks like. See the camera? This is her house. That's our property. Yeah. Would they be able to tell us that it, you know, embers, and we're not going to catch nothing on fire? Um. I'm almost sure, I'm almost positive that uh, you're not, your house is not in danger, but let's see. Are they going to board that up or anything? Yeah, they probably will. Someone will. The owner, they usually call the owner of the uh, house and then the, the owner of the house, they got insurance. The insurance company will co call someone out to board it up. Hey Chief! Hey Chief! Got a question for you real quick. This lady was worried about her house being next door and Ember's catching it on fire. Is that is, is that out? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Did that make you feel better? All right. Only because we have a No, I'm just saying we have stuff in the backyard. I don't want it to catch on fire. Right. Because what they do is they run their engines, so they use that. That water actually cools down the engine. Otherwise, it would go. It go so hot, it would literally melt the engine or blow the engine. So that just the that water going down just a way to cool off the en the engine. Bob from the police signing off.